One in four may contain a hit. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Vice Pants. Can't score any runs if you don't get any hits. Get some people on base. One and four. So, real quick before I rip this open, um, I've noticed uh, that the 100 cards have changed to 80 cards. They're starting to lowball you. It's not even 100 cards anymore. Bunch of crap. It was bad enough that I couldn't see who was on the front because then that would be the allure to be like, oh, hey, that's a so-and-so card right there. That's worth it. And then you still might get something else in the box. Now you can't see anything. And now you're down 20 cards. Who do I call? Who do I need to talk to? I'm going to talk to Aaron Boone. Boone, get on the phone. Fix this. He's on it. So what's up, everybody? We, uh... We've had quite a couple of days. Uh, I don't even remember the last time I posted a card. What's the? There is a pack of something in the middle here. It is 2019 opening day tops. Yeah, pretty cool. I can't wait to open that. That's going to be awesome. We got some stuff here. Steve Buchel. Steve Buchel went from the Rangers to the Pirates and became one of my favorite third basemen in the game. Um, I, I followed the Pirates in the 90s for a while, and uh, things were really good for, for a little while. And um, that was pretty awesome. And then after that, I don't know what happened to him. This, look, check this out. This is uh, Topps. I mean, it's Ray Lankford, Topps Competitors. What year is this? 1997. Pretty cool, very, very shiny stuff. It's got like a protective coating on the top. See how the words, you can peel that off and then there's like a card underneath that. That's pretty cool. But then right behind it is this, the, uh, wow, is this 93? I don't remember. The hell does that say, 94? 94, Leaf Limited. These were pretty cool. Okay, real quick, back in the day, um, everybody loved the Mets because it was 1986 Mets, but we were like, who's this Greg Jeffries kid? All of a sudden, he's just like, you know, he's got a $5 rookie card and 89 tops, and I'm like, what? Who is this guy? So, so apparently, they, uh, they got rid of the shortstop that they had, and uh, was it Kevin Elster? Kevin Elster was the shortstop. This, he's playing first base by then. He was definitely a middle infielder at the time. But uh, by this time, he's playing first base. That's fine. Everybody can play first base. But we're like, who the hell is this Craig Jeffries kid? And why are his cards worth him a lot of uh, $5? Uh, look at this cool Roberto Alomar. 90, 91 tops traded Roberto Alomar. That's, that's pretty cool. That's far from a rookie card. But um, it's just the fact that it's... Tops traded. I don't know if you can get a look at that. Is that clear? I don't even know. It's just that's cool because you don't see a lot of these cards in there. Wow. Who remembers Joe McGrain for the Cardinals? That's a, that's a Joe McGrain rookie card. Why is there such a glare? Do you see from back here? I don't know. We used to have nicknames for everybody. Walt Weiss. Walt Weiss, oh my! We're done. Wow, these are pretty cool. Who remembers this this little pack? Um, Fleer used to make these little mini sets. They were like 50 cards sometimes. Sometimes they were like 100 cards. But they would be like, like this is what it would look like. And that's, you know, and it was like World Series champs or or it was like an all-star set. This is uh, This is from the World Series. This is Danny Gladden. He had a game game one home run and won the game. This is uh, one of twelve. This is a twelve card set, so that probably went for like four bucks, three bucks, two two ninety eight at Toys R Us probably. Uh, nineteen eighty eight Fleer. Pretty cool. Hey, hey, who needs a Trevor Bauer rookie? <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so now the uh, that was fifty cards down. 
<gasps> Look at this! I didn't notice this! It's even in a sleeve! Who the hell is Jimmy Paredes? Oh shit! Okay, enough gawking. Look at this. It's uh, Jimmy, I'll show you the back. It's a Jimmy Paredes. Uh, it looks like it's an autograph. Only an autograph, not a card, but it's serial numbered. Look at that. Can you all focus in on that? It's serial numbered 125 out of 249. That's pretty cool. Here's the back of it, so you get a get a look at it. And the front. Got some sun, gold in the sun. Well, I guess I got a hit out of this box. This is cool. And it came in a protective sleeve. Like, look at the... You can pull this out. I mean, I'm not gonna, but, you know, you can pull that out of there. That's pretty sweet. That blows away this Bruce Ruffin card. I mean, shit. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. This is, uh, you know, older players on color photos in, in like a newer made card instead of the old tobacco cards. This is uh, George Shuba. I have no idea what he did in baseball. He was the shotgun. They say uh, shotgun has been in the Dodger organization since 44 when he broke into this into when he broke in at second base for Olean. What? Pretty cool. Phillies prospects Greg Jelks with a J and Tom Newell. 1988 Fleer. A lot of 88 Fleer in this box. This might be the 88 Fleer shit box. We're gonna have to pick out a name. I uh, I'm trying to go quick. I got uh, I got another 13 minutes. I'm waiting on a raid to hatch. If you can see, I got Pokemon Go going, and I'm waiting on a raid to hatch. Wow. <laughs> it might be 88 Fleer, or it might be that we got. Three Rick Russell cards in a row. <laughs> Look at this. 89 Donruss, 91 Tops, and 88 Donruss. <laughs> Why the hell do we have a Rick Russell series of cards here? Somebody liked Rick Russell. He's like, you know what? We're going to give this guy Rick Russell. Here's, here's a pretty cool thing. 81 Donruss, Caesar Geronimo. It's just the fact that it's 81 Donruss. This is like one of their first years. Look at the back. That's pretty cool, right? Not much different is the 83 Donruss. It's pretty cool. They change up the back, though. That's when they started looking like they do. Well, not like they do now, but like they did through the 90s and stuff. Pretty cool. Oh, and just so we're covering... 81, 82. Here's 82 Don Oh, 82 Donruss on the floor. I got it. 82 Donruss. And see, it's got the, the newer back. So it looks like they switched. Somebody had a great idea. We're like, look, this this back of the card shit isn't working. Let's do this instead. And it's stuck for like a decade. Maybe two decades. Ah, look at this with a hat. I remember these. 1981. Tops with, with the with the you know with the baseball cap in the in the bottom. I we used to buy packs of these off the ice cream truck that drove around our neighborhood. Every year, we'd clean out the whatever he would stock up and whatever the guy had. We were buying packs for like a quarter. Ah, oh, here we go. Bip Roberts, 94 Donruss? Oh, wow, okay. 94 Donruss, Bip Roberts, nice color picture. Color picture on the back, and it's still got almost that same setup, only they did the thing on the side instead of underneath it. But the, you know, the stats are still there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, I remember this guy, Rich Amaral, on the Mariners. 93 pinnacle prospect for the Mariners. I know it says 92, but you know what? It's 93 because... Uh, oh, no, it is 92. 93 had the sharper look. I'm sorry. It is 92. Final answer. There's a stats on the back. He was uh, he was good for like two months, and everybody was like, nah, he's, he's done. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I didn't even give the guy a chance. Well, we got another tops card here. Jeff Richardson. This this was pretty cool. This was the 1990 tops major league debut set and it was just a set of alternate rookie cards, you know. Some of them were rookie cards. It was the first card 
Topps had for them. And this was Jeff Richardson on the Reds at the time. And, uh, and you know, it gave a little bit about his debut. I don't know if you can read that. It's really bright. But I th- it was a pretty cool set. There were some really cool, you know, prospects out of there. Look at this. Terry Francona playing in the field. Now he plays the bench and manages. Pretty awesome. Let's see who's in this pack. Tops opening day, 2019. As I said the last time I got a pack of these in the box, um, 2019 top, uh, I'm sorry, opening day tops was, you know, something you didn't want. And, uh, you know, you were like, oh, whatever that is, I'm not buying any of that shit. And, uh, and 2019 tops, I'm realizing these are some pretty nice cards. Oh, look at this. Justice Sheffield with the Mariners instead of the Yankees. Uh, but you know what? They uh, Here's that Trevor Bauer guy. They, um, you know, they make their right decisions. And I got uh, Anthony Rizzo, Mitch Hanniger, Rafael Devers. And I got the opening day for the New York Mets card. It looks like an insert because it's got a different, different card number on the back. Pretty cool. So that's it. That's that's what's in a shit box. If you guys want anything out of here traded, just let me know uh, in the comments. Send your trade to the PO box. Uh, it's Alex's Toy Show, PO Box 13, Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. And include a little note what you want and what you're trading me, and I'll trade send it back to you. It's pretty great. Um, goes for anything else in the other shit box videos. I probably if I still have it, it's yours. Peace.